it's windy but it's such a beautiful morning y'all yeah it's dark y'all get that coffee i'm sleepy y'all oh wait it's so funny because let me turn y'all around it's so funny because before the pandemic y'all getting up at three o'clock three thirty going to the gym it just became a way of life but now trying to get back into it i don't have to necessarily go at four because I could always go to the uh, apartment complex. But in order to work out with hubby, I had to go at four. I had to be up and ready to move and take at four. So some days I'd probably go with him. Some days I'd probably sleep in a little later. But now we're getting our coffee. And then I'd probably head home, take me a nap, and then... I'm thinking about going thrifting today, so I'll bring you guys with me. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all a little later on in the day, girlfriend, because the sister girl is sleeping. Y'all, I really thought that we were going to be able to go to, um, thrift store today but we're not going to be able to I got to get myself back home I went to meet my oldest daughter for lunch on her lunch I, I'm just trying to pay attention y'all because these people is really driving like they don't understand other people are on the road so anyway, I went to meet her, and I did not have intentions to do this, so that kind of threw my day off. So we're going to have to postpone. I guess I didn't have to pop on to tell y'all, because I'll tell y'all, y'all would know. But we're going to have to postpone until tomorrow. Plus, I got to stop at a Dollar Tree. I went to a Dollar Tree today, but I got to stop at another Dollar Tree. I need it for church tonight. I got to get some duct tape, so... This will probably continue on because we at church tonight. And anytime y'all want to tune in by what is called Zoom, y'all let me know and I get the information. DM me and I get the information. Anyway, let me go. I'll see y'all probably tomorrow because I know the rest of my day gonna be soaked all up. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And we're gonna get into some stuff tomorrow. Plus, I gotta go see my youngest daughter tomorrow. I really want to stop y'all and get a but Chick-fil-A, especially on this strip, be so busy. But I really want to stop and get I really want to stop and get me a diet lemonade frosty. Oh, that sounds so good. All right. Good morning, guys. I hope y'all can see me because I can't really see y'all. Uh, we are headed out. And I'm thinking we might stop at I see do not feel right. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking we might stop at at least one through the store today because I, I want to find a spring like men's suit. And I want to turn the pants into shorts. Not Bermuda shorts, a little higher above my knee. Like the last suit I made, I did it like below my knee. But I want to make uh, another suit above my knee. Uh, like regular shorts. I guess you would say Bermuda shorts, but they a little tad, maybe two inches higher than Bermuda shorts. Uh, that's what I really want to do. I just been thinking about that look somebody had a video and i want to say it was target if i'm not mistaken i've always loved short short suit sets i want to say if i'm not mistaken what my coffee like it's pulling and i just had my the devil is alive i want to say it's target 
they had like um shorts with the matching blades but if i could find a three-piece the pants the vest and the blazer and i want to turn the pants into shorts that would be chef kiss so we might stop at one thrift store it's just that i really do not enjoy going to the goodwill store anymore uh we might as well go and get it too again friend i don't know if because i'm doing this video before i put up my other video so i might talk briefly in both of them about it but i'm just not loving the goodwill stores anymore and i'm telling you i've been thrifting for a long time guys and i'm telling you that i used to be able to go in goodwill and find such good things at a thrift store price like when my grandbaby was little <laughs> oh these potholes when my grandbaby was little, I used to go in Goodwill all the time because the baby clothes, I think, were 99 cent. The toddlers was a dollar now. I don't know how much they are now. And you will find, like, I will find, like, three-piece onesies still new 99 cent. I would. And... Like shoes would be a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine. Not none of this stuff they doing now. Now I know with inflation, but baby, you getting that stuff free? How that's inflating on you? You 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 getting that free? Now I know the workers got to get paid, but baby, you make enough money that you can pay them workers well. If the billion, if the CEOs and, and all of these folks quick quick being uh, 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 billionaires and do right and spread the wealth but anyway because when you used to get the suits from I could have turned down there while I'm running my mouth you used to get the suits from Goodwill they used to be a woman's suit when I used to thrift Goodwill I think they were either $6.99 or $7.99 seven, seven, seven or $6.99 and that was a suit, whether it was a three-piece suit, a two-piece suit. Uh, and then they went up to, I think, $9.99. Then I think they went up to $12.99. And I think, now I think they had $14, if I'm not mistaken. Probably depends on the good where you go to. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. And that's just, and I went thrifting, I went to the bins, cause I, I go to the Goodwill bins far more than I go to the Goodwill. You go to the Goodwill, and it's another thrift store I stopped going to. I stopped going to Mid-South Thrift. I used to go to Mid-South Thrift all the time. Mid-South Thrift and Park Avenue Thrift and City Thrift were my store more so than Goodwill. I, uh, the Beans would more so be my store at Goodwill. Mid-South Thrift got a new, I don't know who, she, who it was, but baby, they used to have a section, a $1.98 section, and they used to put all their vintage dresses in skirts or whatever go i used to rack up then they took the dollar dollar 98 dress section away and made it 298 that still was good now they don't have neither anymore and now it's like i went there the other day they had a older model I want to say Christian Dior. I think I actually, if I didn't get rid of it, I think I actually had a coat. They wanted a hundred dollars for it. You got it for free. And then, you know, I think when you go into consignment stores or like the real real or places like that, you expect to pay more. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the reasons I just don't really feel as good about the resale 
uh, like I used to because you got to understand if you go into the goodwill and you get this object right and they say well it was a hundred I feel like that about garage sales too you get this object, and they say it was a hundred and fifty dollars but we selling it for eighty dollars yeah that's a good deal but if I'm a resale and I buy it at eighty dollars I got the dang nail to get my $80 back and get a little profit, put $20, $10, $15, $20 on top of that. I don't feel like I'm giving nobody no justice. You understand know what I'm saying? So I started feeling a little iffy about that because the more you the more you pay for it at the goodwill and you try to resell it, you got to get your money back and then you want to make a profit for finding it, the gas and all of this stuff. I just wasn't feeling good about this, so I kind of like just, mm, I don't know about re resale, but it's just getting ridiculous. And then, like I said, I went to the beans the other day, and there's nothing wrong with that, but that's just to show you how things have changed. It was like four, well, one teenager with her mama, but it was another set group of girls. It was like three teenagers. And the three teenagers, uh, had them a basket and baby they was shopping down and I was like <sighs> when it became so popular and everybody just started doing it now the it's everything is just ridiculous it's just ridiculous and it takes the joy out of thrifting you know what I'm saying and then then I look at some people and I ain't mad they used to thrift started their channel off thrifting and I feel like when you have a love a true love for thrifting some kind of way you always find yourself in a thrift store whether it be once a month or whatever you still should have some form of in my opinion thrifting content but I know people you know but it's like you 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 start the your channel on thrifting you be so successful then you switch up it's like no more thrifting <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, where your thrifting? I miss your thrift. I like your other content, but throw me a little thrifting in there. So that's what I try to do. Even though it's getting so scarce, I do still try to throw a little, little thrifting in there. So hold on, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Hold on, y'all. So I cannot see how I'm looking. I hope I look all right. So, um... Yeah, and it's just like, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Yeah. It's like, now, I just, I really like Park Avenue Thrift because at Park Avenue Thrift, they continuously have, you know, like, they kind of stay across the board. They average pants, uh, you know, they do go up into pants. But the average pants is like six dollars ninety seven cents or five ninety seven or five forty five something like that. And if you wait, you know what I'm saying. If you go on a consistent basis, you know this week might be everything marked down to blue. This week, and then it's not like you go in there either. Like you go in there, and you'll see a lot of stuff you like. It'll be blue. But then you'll see a lot of stuff you like that'll be tan, it'll be pink, it'll be, you know, it'll be other colors. It's not just like you go in there and be like, all they got in his blue, I can't find nothing else. It's not like that. And I just like the fact that, you know, y'all should have seen this by now. This is vintage pajama set. Like this was, I want to say it was 757. No. My orange set was seven fifty seven. I think this was nine fifty seven. Blue tag. So I paid half price. We're like four fifty, uh, four sixty some dollars for this set. Which at they don't even they used to do that at um. I'm tired here. They used to do that at Goodwill. They would have like uh fifty percent off. Uh, now they've kind of gotten back to it where they have 50% off on Sundays, I think. I don't know. I don't know because I don't go that much to the regular Goodwill saying all that and I'm headed there now. But it's just getting ridiculous, y'all. Oh, I know what I was saying. And like, if you know it's about content and if you're a content creator and stuff be going on and if you, you know, like you wonder why 
everybody pretty much had the same content is because you know you look at this content you like oh wait you know this content got these many views they really like this type of content i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that and make it my own and so you get a redundancy of the same thing and then it's like for some reason people get so used to that that when you do something they're like i just get on here to be me i constantly tell you why i started this channel i get on this channel to talk to y'all to be me not to sell you dreams i'm not a dream seller but I feel like sometimes, a lot of times, people get on YouTube and they are dream sellers. And so, you know, people buy the dream. And so when they they think, they don't realize that a lot of stuff that you see on the, on the social media stuff is not real. The aesthetics that people set up and stuff is not real. They said it, not, not all, not all. But, you know, a lot of people look at something and say, ooh, and then they copy that aesthetics and then on the outside of it is really not real it's really not them you know what i'm saying and it's like now on social media people done got so used to people not being them that when people do be them you know they don't they don't click on it as often i don't know anyway girl there's another thing i got to talk about y'all y'all know y'all know how us do with us to us get to yapping me and my husband talk about this all the time. Y'all let me know in the comments. Would you want to be a... Would you want to buy real estate, fix it up, and sell it and get a profit? Or would you want to be a landlord? Me and my husband talk about it all the time because he be hollering about landlord. I don't think I would ever want to be a landlord like that. Like... God will have to come in there because I'm going to tell you why. Now, anything is possible. God can change your heart. I know. Like today, I stopped at our complex. And because they have a party over there. And I think I've taken y'all over there with me before. Where you can wash your car, vacuum your car, and all that stuff. I go over there today. Somebody done vacuumed their car. Throw all the trash out. Just anything did wash their car did not hang the holes back up so the holes done got all busted up then they they threw the hole they vacuumed their car threw the holes down threw the threw the vacuum cleaner holes down as where everything just throw down in the ground trash everywhere and i was like i that i So I got out. I picked up the trash. No, I didn't. I didn't pick up the trash. I picked up a piece of the trash. Then I picked up uh, the holes and put hung that back up. And then I uh, picked up the vacuum cleaner because I had to use it. I had to pick it up off the ground. I picked that up so I could use that. And I'm like... You know, I, somebody said it coming because I had asked. I was like, even though you still don't get a cycle anymore, do you still have, like, the same, like, ear, cravings and irritability and stuff like <laughs> Stuff like that. And they said, you do. Because, girl, I'm a, I think I'm on one today. Because it's just been like, oh. Uh. Girl, let's go in this good week. I thought I done talked about them. I done talked about them. I done talked about them behind their back. Now I'm going to go smile up in their face. <laughs> ah! Nah. I'm just going in here looking for one particular thing. And, child, we shall be, be right back out. I'm just not for all this stuff, though. It's just getting to be crazy. How is you charging all of this? And I, I get it. And that's what I'm going to tell you something else, too. I worked in retail for a long time before I worked in the school system. And they used to tell people all the time when people come in there and steal, you know, it it increased the, the, the price. But I'm going to tell you, who be stealing more than the folks that come in there and steal? The, for, for the, the, the higher up folks. They be doing more stealing than the folks that come in the store and steal. And then they have a, a I'm going to tell you something. We had a, like when people would come up in the store, and you worked in retail, you know what I'm talking about. When people come up in the store and like, 
open a bag of socks. Um, open panties, open bras. Uh, we would get freight in and the washing powder be bust up and stuff. We had a young lady that was over writing that stuff off. She would write that stuff off, write it up as damage, send the paperwork in so they could get paid for it. And then we would go over, uh, they would pack it all up because they would get samples in. They would get so much stuff and they would pack it all up. And they would actually have a sale for the employees. And we would go in there and buy the stuff. For like the washing powder, big things of washing powder, y'all, would be 50 cents. Toothpaste would be 25 cents a dime. Uh, it used to be a lot of stuff. That's how I really made it when my kids was little. I used to have tons of white girl clothes, samples. Sometimes they would stamp sample on them. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go in the store. about nothing. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. I got these. Now this one got was $2.50. I got this one for $2.50. This one got this one for $2.99 because it didn't have a hook. But anyway, this one was $3.99 and I like little fuzzy things and I know I can wear it where this is a crossbody. And then I got this one. This one had the chain on it. And this one was $2.99. Girl, make that make sense. I ain't even argue with them. 
and this one was $2.99 with the change. Blue jeans, little cheap brown, both of them from Target. But I know I'll wear those, so that's all I got. I didn't even argue with them. I was watching Jillian on one of her episodes. She said that she had some jeans for her daughter. And she said one of them was $6.99. $6.99, $9.99, one of them brand new, and the other pair was $14.99. And she said she went up there, told the people that they had two different prices, and she was trying to get them to do both of them for $9.99. She said a girl took them to the back, said she was going back there to ask her manager. She said when she came back, they had both of them at $14.99. Now, you know that don't make no sense. You at the good and the wheel. You got that stuff free. If y'all see one nine nine, what y'all see one for nine nine nine, and over for uh, fourteen nine nine. Go on, whoop over them things at nine 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 nine. You still making a pro a hundred percent profit? She said they had repriced them both for fourteen nine nine and said, say, "Ooh, that's a mistake, girl." Nobody got time for this. So now I'm headed to Audi's. Cause we having salmon and salad for dinner tonight. And I'm thinking I want some grapes. I don't think I'm gonna go in all this. Hubby on break, so hubby probably gonna run into all these for me. And um get what I want. And I'll probably just see y'all a little bit later. We do have church tonight, so I know how I'll be coming back out. So I'll probably see y'all then. Child, they done just tripped me up. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Have y'all looked at the Anna Luisa jewelry yet? Y'all, I love. Look how nice that I wear this all the time. And the little dainty one. I love this jewelry. It looks so good. The quality is so nice. Have y'all checked them out? Y'all need to check them out, especially if you're looking for a little gift for you. yourself. It's affordable, inexpensive, and it lasts in my rent. I never take this out. I've bathed in this, uh, washed clothes in this. You know how you put bleach in, put, and look at it. I never take it off. Anyway, I just got on to say good morning. Me and hubby are out and about. Of course, y'all know. coffee run and y'all know this is my thrifty hat i love hats if you are a hat a hat girly drop down in the comments baby ain't nothing like a good hat i love a hat we did not exercise this morning because i did not want to go this morning because when i got up and took my hair down and i knew that i was gonna have hair you know how you cutting the hair i knew i was gonna have little hair particles all over me i just wanted to take a bath once I got through, so I was like, I'm not even going to rush myself with my hair and everything. And so we did not go this morning. But I know for sure. I know we're not we're not going this morning. We're not going tomorrow, but I definitely know we're going Sunday. And hitting the, hitting, the, hitting the ball rolling, trolling. But I just wanted to pop on and say good morning. I don't know what we're going to do today. Today going to be an awesome, beautiful day. But whatever we do, I will be bringing you guys with us or with me. So with that being said, I'll see you later. Hi guys, so it's a new girl, what, two, three days? We ended up not doing anything that day, but this morning, right now we're getting our coffee. But this morning we're up, we're actually finna go to the grocery store for my daughter. We go to this little grocery to grocery store. What's a grocery store? We go to this grocery store out of town and she wanted us because she's so busy she wanted us to go for her so she cashed up us uh uh her grocery bill right <laughs> so we finna drive and i thought maybe i'll bring y'all with us it's nothing exciting but since we didn't do anything the other day i thought maybe i'll bring y'all with us today y'all go grocery shopping with us and i think because when we go normally we pass the beans so we might i'm not absolutely sure i see what hubby feel how hubby feel we might stop at the beans and for sure y'all know i take y'all in there with me all right let's go
just got through with my workout and oh my god I don't think I'm gonna do the second half because me and my husband's supposed to go to the gym this afternoon, so I think I'm just gonna be cool with the first half. Now I'm gonna stretch. Woo. By speaking something, and we're gonna speak favor over their lives. We're ready. We're ready.